brothers and sisters in Christ at Mount Olive. The elders and I have had an ongoing discussion of how best to respond to the outbreak of coronavirus or COVID-19. We were doing our best to maintain business as usual while also addressing current concerns. Yet each time we thought we had a plan figured out, the situation would change and new recommendations would be released, making our plans obsolete. Above all, we wanted to do everything we could to continue to gather for worship. The author of the book of Hebrews encourages Christians to not neglect meeting together and encouraging one another. We held off making this decision as long as we felt we could. However, in light of the most recent recommendations and orders from the state and federal government, including uh, a recommendation to limit gatherings to 10 people and a ban on gatherings of more than 25 people, we have decided to suspend worship services as well as all other activities taking place at Mount Olive for the coming weeks. We did not come to this decision lightly. St. Paul wrote to Timothy that God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, of love, and self-control. At the same time, the fourth commandment, as well as Paul's words in Romans 13, tell us to submit to the governing authorities. Jesus also commands us to love our neighbors and to care for their well-being. It is the love we have for our neighbor and our concern for the health of those in our community and beyond that has led us to make this decision. This leads us to that good Lutheran question, what does this mean? Well, the Board of Elders and I are continuing to discuss just that. We are looking for how best to minister to the people of Mount Olive and other people in our community. We are looking for resources that we ourselves can provide, as well as pointing you towards other resources already available. This includes figuring out ways to to donate online as well as uh, through the mail. Because without receiving offering during worship services, this crisis will have a large financial impact on Mount Olive and many other congregations. In the meantime, please do not hesitate to contact me. I will be stopping by the office daily to check the voicemail. You can also email me or, or call me on my cell. Please. Let me know if you have any questions. I will do my best to help you find answers. Let me know if you have any concerns. I I will listen and do everything I can to help ease them. And most importantly, please let us know if you are in need. Several of our younger members have offered to assist those who are at greatest risk with with things like grocery shopping or, or, or other chores that might need to be done. We have some very special people at Mount Olive. Please do not hesitate to let us help you however we can. Above all, pray. Pray for those who are sick. Pray for the doctors and nurses who are caring for others. Pray for the the first responders who are attending to those in need and helping to maintain order throughout this time of uncertainty. Pray for all of the the government agencies, for, for those who are doing their best to manage this crisis and those who have incredibly difficult decisions to make. Pray for the the people at Walmart and and Safeway and Costco who are doing their best to keep the shelves stocked. And pray for those who have been impacted by this crisis in one way or another. Yeah, that's, that's all of us. Pray for us all. And finally, trust in God. We know that He is in control and that we are in His hands. Stay safe. God bless.